So a common question we get asked here at the Golf Shop Online is should you buy a seven wood or a hybrid? Um, I've got my hybrid here, I'm a hybrid pair. Let's talk about some of the differences that you might find between the two clubs and then you can try and put yourself in these categories that we list. So cool differences between a hybrid and a seven wood. A seven wood's gonna be much bigger in its head, so it's gonna be much more stretched back. Uh, even if you get a match loft, so if I go 22 degree here, if you had a seven wood with a 22 degree loft, you're gonna get the bigger head. And what does the bigger head do? Well, the bigger head gives you a possibility for a little bit more higher launch and maybe a slightly higher peak height, but they can control that wherever they put the weight because the center of gravity will be further behind the club also behind the face. So the more you put the center of gravity back from the face, you've got potential for a little bit more launch or subject to how deep and that they put it. Also, you get a potential of a little bit more stability, meaning if you're someone who just hits all over the face and you find you get some wobbly shots because you get some wobbly hits, this is where a seven wood might have small advantages over a hybrid. So if you're that style of golfer, you just find it wobbly, the seven wood having a little bit of stability possibly over the hybrid, that's what might sway you that way. Now, the other problem with that though, like with all golf clubs, is always a trade-off. A seven wood will be longer in length than a hybrid. So looking at an inch to two inches longer as a general rule. Now, the longer you make these clubs, the harder it is to find the middle. So if you imagine I had a club here that was twice as long and I'm stood like way back here trying to hit it, I'm gonna hit the sweet spot hardly ever. So the longer you make that club, there's a point kind of no return. I've tested with people as you go longer and longer and longer that it just like, their strike just falls off a cliff. Um, then you might find that you get the extra stability from the bigger head, but if you then go and lose it from a longer shaft, there's your balance. That's where these clubs can be so similar. So subject to how good you are at striking with different length clubs, there would be your next decision to make. Because as a general rule, you give people a hybrid and it feels a good length because it's that representative, a little bit more of an iron rather than the wood. And then they feel like they can do some different things from different lies. That leads us on to the next point. A hybrid with its width of head is width, you know, it's much fatter than say an iron, but with a, high, a seven wood, which is gonna be kind of out here more, the bigger that sole gets, for some golfers, it can feel less versatile because you've now got this big bit out the back that makes it harder when you're gonna start doing different shots. So if I start hitting shots that like I play with my hybrid where I'm shaping it a little bit and hitting out of different lies and divots and those kind of things because I'm confident with it, you go and put extra club at the back when I start opening it up, it just raises this even more and more and more with a, heart, with a deeper club. So I find them possibly a little bit less versatile. So if you're someone who's using a hybrid and you are manipulating shots a little bit, which I know will be less of you, then the seven wood might not be as appealing. For me, the seven wood, when I've tested with students, is a club that more and more people should just use. Like they should just use it. The other good thing with a seven wood is it does start crossing with your irons. So whatever your longest irons is, the same way hybrids do. And for lots of golfers, if it allows them to take out an iron that they're not very good with, a six iron, a five iron, a four iron, which hopefully not many of you in the seven wood world are actually still carrying, you find that they have a much more versatile club in so many more situations. So seven wood or hybrid, I think they're very even. It's so much gonna be to do with where you strike it, if you like the length of the club or not, if you like the bigger head, depending on how you play your club and making sure it fits into your set. I don't think there's a right and wrong answer to this question. It's more fixing it into the way you play the game of golf. Should more people carry seven woods? 100%. Stop mucking around with long irons. They're tough, they're hard, unless you're good with them. If you struggle with them, like lots of golfers do, get a good hybrid, get a seven wood. It can be so versatile and help your game so much. Let me know if this helps.